is it safe that we keep using fire in all of our videos just like around the house? I don't think so. <laughs> I get asked all the time to do videos on gift giving and gift ideas for all sorts of holidays, all sorts of people and friends and family members and things. So today we're finally doing it. In this video, I thought I would show you a plethora, 20 to be exact, of different gift ideas to give someone in your life, birthdays, holidays, just because, whatever works. That was not a complete sentence, but you get the picture. Let's get started. First up, we're going to begin with a DIY project and that is making your own candle. For this, you are going to need soy wax, which you can buy on its own, or I actually just got this candle making kit. Everything that I talk about in this video will be linked down below. Today, we're gonna make our candle in a bowl. Yes, this is like a cereal kitchen bowl, but I thought it'd be really cute and aesthetically pleasing to put a candle in a bowl. And to make it even better, you can add your own scents, you can color the wax, and also you can add things that are not flammable. Repeat, not flammable. Step one, get a pot of water that's been sitting next to you this entire time and whatever this is called, put it here and turn it on. I get nervous every time. We're gonna, uh, we're gonna turn the gas on. Woo, okay. We're gonna take our little container and fill it with our wax. Pour it all in there and then we take this and we put it inside the water, she's floating. There has to, oh, maybe you go like this. Well, let me okay. refer to my instructions. Ah! Why they give you so many wicks? It only makes two candles. Okay, well now I have wicks for life. Take your jar or your bowl, whatever you're using, just stick it right there on the bottom, and there you go. We can make it like a three wick one. Oh, oh hold on, I gotta take this off. Yes, yes, I love it, okay. Now it looks like this and we'll wait for this to melt. I'll turn up the heat. Fire! Oh shit, I forgot I'm supposed to be on a call right now. We're gonna let this melt and I'll come back. <laughs> great news everyone, call went great. Also, the wax is fully melted. I have the bowl here, I'm gonna put the crystal in at the bottom and now I'm gonna pour. Ah! The wicks are indeed falling. Note to self, put the popsicle sticks on before you pour the wax in, la 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 la. All right, now we let it fully set. It looks gross, hopefully it looks better later. It's the next day, the candle has solidified. We are going to trim the wicks. Oh my God. I will say the crystal was like a little big for this candle, but it was the only one that I had laying around. So, you know, it's still a fun surprise. Now we light. There we go. You could go to like Goodwill or something and find like fun mugs or like fun bowls to put it in. There we go. Let there be fire. If you have anyone who first of all is of age to drink and also enjoys alcohol, it's a bit of a splurge, definitely an investment, but well worth the money. Let me tell you, I got this one as a gift and I was ecstatic. A Bartesian or like an electric cocktail maker kind of thing. Let me just say again, this is very extra, but it's an amazing like housewarming gift for someone. They also have like a, my dogs. Ladies, you put like a little pod in and then you can make a cocktail with it, whether it's like vodka, gin. I love like the Locale Cosmo. That's my favorite right now. They're great. All the little pods are recyclable after and I am a huge, huge fan. So if you're looking for a nice gift to get someone, check it out. Another wonderful gift idea is a mini waffle maker. This is the perfect gift to give someone in your life who loves cooking or maybe loves TikTok. I love waffles and I've seen on TikTok this blowing up because people love to make anything in a waffle iron and seeing what will waffle. Also, I've seen a lot of the keto people loving something called a chaffle, which is a cheese waffle. I've decided today that we must try it together. This particular waffle maker is made by the brand Dash. They come in all sorts of colors, all different shapes. This was the one that I could find, which is perfect for Valentine's Day. All you do is you take your little mini waffle maker. It's so cute. Look at this. Tom, tom, tom. Today we're gonna be using cheddar, shredded sharp cheddar cheese. Honestly, I'm not really that big of a cheese fan, so I don't know if this is gonna be good, but we'll see. Mmm, turns out I am a cheese fan, everyone. <laughs> That's good. Cheese is really good. <laughs> cheese sizzling. And then close it, and now it becomes a chaffle, allegedly. Oh, I'm so excited I have one of these now. Mmm, the cheesy waffiness. Mmm, fan it everywhere. Oh, it's chaffling. Oh my God. I did it! Wait, 
brown. Whoa. It's so good. Whoa. Yeah. Here is our chaffle, everyone. Time for a bite. Oh, hot. Oh my God. It's so good. This is one of the most delicious things I've ever tasted in my life. Oh my God. Holy shit. This gives someone a basket of chaffles for their Valentine's Day. Mm. A great gift idea is to make a crate filled with their favorite things. I personally love to do this when any of my friends are sick. I get like a big crate. I put like a blanket in there, like some tea, medicine, things like that. In front of me here, I have three different options that I've created for you guys. Over here, let's say that you're friends with a couple and you want to surprise them with a little gift. You can create this little crate. I put in here some Tito's and then we've got cranberry juice, grapefruit juice, and orange juice in these cute little glasses. We've got some grenadine and some cups and some strawberries with some straws. We found a recipe for a really good cocktail that we will leave linked down below if you guys want to create this and send it to them. You can just leave it on their doorstep, be very COVID safe, ring the doorbell, run away, and then they have this cute little basket. Here is for, you know, the health and wellness friend in your life. We've got like a bunch of fun, like healthier snacks. Like we have some protein cereal, we've got liquid IV, protein powder, pre-workout, little like candies, little like split things. Fill it with whatever. Oh, a little shaker bottle. Of course, they're gonna need that. And then lastly, over here, I have a little coffee box. So I threw in some different coffee variations, some mugs, also coffee and chocolate go well together. So we got that, some cookies. It smells amazing. Overall, you can totally customize these to whatever your friend likes. If they like tech stuff, if they like music, literally anything, it's super easy and just a really nice, fun, thoughtful gift. A gift idea that's perfect for a loved one in your life is this adorable, beautiful little bear rose thing? We're gonna unbox her together. They had like so many colors to choose from. Oh, it's made out of styrofoam. They look so real. How cute is this? It's the perfect gift for like a girlfriend or one of your friends. It would be so cute like on your vanity. Just me and my friend hanging out. Overall, super cute gift, really inexpensive, and I feel like we'll totally make someone's day. Love. This is a DIY project that I have been obsessed with lately, and I'm so excited to try and make it on my own. I got one of these during Vlogmas when I was buying from all those small businesses and she made the cutest breakable heart ever. Basically all you need for this is a mold, a silicone heart mold. You can get this from Amazon. I'll link it down below. And then optionally you can add edible glitter if you'd like. And then you just need some candy melts or like chocolate of some sort. Oh my God, it's gonna be so pretty. And then I'll like move it around maybe. Oh, it's so cute. Now I think all we're gonna do is put the chocolate inside and you don't wanna make it too thick, but I'm just gonna spoon it in. I already melted them down and then kind of spread it around. Actually, it kind of requires a good amount of chocolate. There we go. Now we are going to freeze it. Fingers crossed. All right, our heart is out of the freezer. We're gonna peel her back. <gasps> that was so easy. Oh my God. Also, very inexpensive to make. These are my favorite candies, so I'm gonna do that. <laughs> then you can put it like in a cute gift box if you want, put some like tissue paper, whatever, and then include one of these little mallets, and then, are we ready? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> so oh my God, it's so fun. And then you got chocolate and candy and it makes the perfect gift. Something a little bit more sentimental. These little books I found are so cute. They're really inexpensive again. They have so many different variations. This one is called When You're My Bestie. This one is called What I Love About Us. Basically, you just like fill in the blanks with cute things. I'm gonna give this one to Alicia, so I thought we could fill it out together. Here we go, so cute. To Loche from Rome. This one says you are the best blank in the world. Best bitch. <laughs> you have the best taste in friends. I'm <laughs> just kidding. <laughs> you give the best advice about, ooh, mental health. I love that. I still laugh about the time. <laughs> Like what we spent on the beach. I am completely jealous of your, your badass. <laughs> I love these, they're super cute, get them. Another gift idea that is perfect for the person that loves makeup in your life, maybe get them the pretty basic Maybe give them the Pretty Basic and Tarte palette. In case you guys do not know, Alicia and I did indeed collab with Tarte Cosmetics. You guys can check out the link down below. Check out this set. It retails for $35 and truly makes the best gift for your mom, your sister, your guy friend that likes makeup. The kit retails for $35 and in this box you will receive 
the palette, which includes six eyeshadows and two face products. We got a highlighter, a bronzer, six eyeshadows, the perfect neutrals. I'm wearing them on my eyes right now. I wear it every day. I love it. Also a mini mascara, which I am indeed also wearing on my bottom lashes and the best lip oil to ever exist. So check it out. Link down below. You can get it at Ulta stores as well. Ulta online, chart online. Check it out. This one is great for anyone who loves jewelry in your life. I have wanted one of these for so long and I found this adorable Tiffany blue one, which I thought looked really expensive when it wasn't. This is perfect for anyone who travels or just goes to the gym, like literally any day. You basically just open it up and it has a bunch of different little like places to put rings. You can put like earrings, you can put necklaces and things in here and just keep it nice and safe when you travel. Love this, thought it was cute. Great gift idea. I have been obsessed with jewelry as of lately. I don't know what's gone into me. I've been wearing a necklace every single day. I used to never wear necklaces and I feel like this is obviously you know, a standard idea is to get someone jewelry, but I wanted to link you guys my favorite jewelry store. It's called Objects. I got this cute little necklace from Cal for my birthday. It's a pink little heart. I think they make the cutest jewelry for someone in your life that likes a little bling. They're really cute and trendy pieces, and they're also all decently affordable. So check it out if you're looking for some cute, trendy jewelry. This is a really fun DIY project, and it actually is like very inexpensive to do as well. We went to Target and got a plain doormat that was like under $10 or so. I decided I'm gonna make this one for Alicia, so I put her iconic slogan on here where she says K-Bye. Then we went into Microsoft Word and just blew up K-B-Y-E in this comma, like one per page. I cut them out using a knife. Now I'm just gonna tape them down and we're gonna spray paint over it. Oh! We're gonna take it off. We're a little nervous. Oh! Ah! Oh! Oh my God, we're so good at this! Oh my God! Father who art in heaven, now will be thy name. <laughs> oh my God, she's gonna love it. She's gonna love it. It's so cute. Wow, that was like really easy and way cheaper than the ones that I've bought before. I've been ripped off. Yay! Okay. So a couple years ago, I was really, 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 really into film cameras, and I still am, but I really haven't been doing anything to take pictures of lately. I mean, it was like perfect because this was like the summer right before everything crazy happened. I have this photo album that I just filled with tons and tons and tons of photos from that time. And I'm able to look back at it and just like reminisce. These were just some of the best moments in my life. So I thought this would be a really good gift idea to give someone that you love in your life. If you wanna just print out, you can get like your photos printed at CVS or any drugstore or something. You can print them out for really cheap and then just fill up an album with them. I think it's like the best gift ever. Like if someone gave this to me, I would just cry. These are when I first met Cal. This was like our first official date. Oh my God. If you have any movie lovers in your life, I have one for sure. I have the best gift for you, and that is a popcorn maker. Nothing is better than fresh popped popcorn, not like from a bag. If you wanna get like a little one you can, I recently got a movie theater style popcorn maker. Yes, this is extra, but we actually use it like every few nights or so. I will admit it's a bit more of a pain to clean than my other ones, but it is well worth it. It literally tastes like I'm at an AMC. It's great decor and also makes the perfect gift for someone who just loves popcorn or movies in your life. Comment down below your favorite movie snack. Let me know. Mine is personally popcorn and chocolate chip cookie dough bites. Let me know. Can you make us popcorn? Can you make us popcorn? Can you make us popcorn? Another one that is super inexpensive, and I didn't even know these existed, but I thought they were so great to give someone. If you want to throw it into like a basket, you can make it like a spa kind of thing. If you have a friend who's really into skincare, maybe like some skincare products, and then throw these in there. How romantic is this? These are little flower petals that you can put into a bathtub and they dissolve, they smell amazing. They just like add some pretty colors and scents to your bath. And again, they were like so inexpensive. So I thought they'd be cute to throw in with like a little spa gift. This was a gift that was actually given to me by my best friend Kaylee for Cal and I for our Christmas gift. And it was genuinely one of the best gift ideas I've ever seen. It is from a company called Crated with Love. If you guys use code MissRemyAshton in all caps, you can get $5 off your first purchase. So feel free to do that if you guys want to try this out. But seriously, it is adorable. Cal and I did this one the other 
night. This is the new one that we got. And we basically have like a whole date night devoted to this box. This one specifically was themed like middle school awkward years. So we went through and we filled out these little booklets with like a bunch of answers of things of like, what was your favorite end of the day snack? Who was your best friend back then? We played these mash cards, which was so much fun. It came with like a little Tamagotchi. We had like little report cards that we like scored each other on. It was all over so fun. We wrote each other like love notes. And I just want to keep this forever because it's like another really fun memory. This month's theme is awards night, which I know Cal is really excited about. So it's just fun to like devote a whole night to just spending time not being on our phones. We just play like our favorite music. Love it. Try it out. This one looks a little strange, but hear me out. It is perfect for someone in your life who maybe works out a lot or maybe just is in pain a lot, is an athlete. Whoever likes massages, this thing is a game changer. Okay, so you put it on your back like this and it has these little arm loops here that you can put your arms through and then you can use it for reinforcement. I also like it because I can play on my phone at the same time. And then over here, there's like a bunch of buttons. So you push this, ah, I could just sit here forever. It's the gift that keeps on giving. That's what it is. This is the perfect gift to give someone who is a tech person in your life. It's a great housewarming gift also. This is the Google Nest Hub Max. This will turn your house into a literal smart home like that Disney movie back in the day, but like less scary. You can hook it up to like your Nest if you have, so you can control your like thermostat. I have a ring doorbell where you can connect it so you can see like who's at the door. You can connect it to your Spotify, play whatever music you like. The speaker system in it is amazing. You can like Google Hangout people. You can call them on here. This is not sponsored. I swear. It's just incredible. I love it. I personally for work use like Google Calendar. I have a Google Pixel that I use. So I like this product because it kind of hooks everything up. It lets me know when I have events and things. But I do know that also Amazon has a version for their Alexa with like the same kind of like layout. So I'll leave that link down below. I'll leave this one link down below. Check them all out. They're all amazing. This next DIY project, I have to give absolute credit to my friend May May on TikTok. I'm going to leave her link down below. She did this on TikTok and it was so, so cute. I've never seen it before. I was so impressed and I wanted to try and make it. So what you need for this is a sweatshirt, a t-shirt, some sort of clothing item, fabric paint, Elmer's glue, pantyhose, embroidery hoops, a credit card or a card of some sort. And then you need to go on to Spotify. So I'm going to make this sweatshirt for Cal. I learned that this is his favorite song in my Q&A and Vlogmas. What'd you say? Oh, wow. I put Come Down by Anderson Pack. Quote. Is At that what it's called? the same Close. artist. Is this the song? No. This one is called The Dreamer by Anderson Pack. I went on to Spotify, got this code, printed it out. We're going to put this code onto the sweatshirt with all the paint and everything. If it works, we should be able to scan it and then it'll play the song on Spotify. So we're gonna see how this goes. We're gonna take our pantyhose and we're going to shove it into the hoop or shove the hoop into the pantyhose rather, like this. There we go. So I took the pantyhose and I put it through the hoop and then I put the outer hoop on it. Now we're gonna go through just so it's one single layer and cut the bottom part out. We've got one single layer in our embroidery hoop. I'm gonna make sure it's really tight so that it doesn't pop out. We're going to lay it on top of our code and take a pen and trace it. Next step, we have the stencil. I taped it onto some thicker paper underneath. Um, I taped it just to make sure it stays. We're gonna take some Elmer's glue now and a little baby paintbrush, and we're going to paint all around the little stencil. You wanna make sure that you don't get in the lines. You wanna make sure the lines don't get glue. I don't know, we're gonna try. Oh yeah, there we go. We painted on the glue, and then now I'm going to dry it with a hairdryer just to speed things up, or you can let it air dry, whichever you prefer. The moment of truth, guys. We have the loop, the glue is dry. I put it down on the sweatshirt. I put a piece of cardboard in between so that it won't seep through. And now I'm gonna put my fabric paint on here. Keep it on the glue section. Oh my God, I'm so nervous. Why am I so nervous? Ha huh, the moment of truth. You got this. <gasps> oh my God. Okay guys, it's done. I added a little Spotify logo and now we are going to test it. I really hope this works. So what you're gonna do is you're going to go to search and then this little camera icon up here and then scan it. It scans so fast. It gets it like within a, a millisecond. Oh my God. I have a gift to bestow upon you. Close your eyes. Open, look what I made you. Oh, what the hell is that? <laughs> okay, now go like this and then you're gonna scan it on Spotify. Nice. Ah! I knew it would be that song. I love it. I can't believe it worked. You're welcome. That's crazy. Like and subscribe. Bye. <laughs>